Hi guys, welcome to our latest project in Radler. Uh, before we start, please could you subscribe, hit the like button and the notification bell so you know when new videos come out. So we're in Radler, Hertfordshire, and this one is close to my heart. It's where I grew up and it's got to be one of my favorite modern kitchens that we've ever done. I'm really excited to get into this one with you. So let's take you through this beautiful modern kitchen. So this is an incredible open plan kitchen. Uh, as you can see, we've got these beautiful bifolding doors out into the garden. But in terms of furniture, the first thing you're gonna notice is this stunning TV area. So we've built in the TV in this uh, bourbon oak and it's this slatted or reeded material, which looks really, really nice. Bit of that Scandi vibe, uh, actually originally inspired by the island on Love Island, uh, but our version of it. So you'll notice that we've matched it on the back and the side of the island as well. Uh, so this has got a breakfast bar overhang uh, for more informal dining and also storage under the island. So coming through, the next thing you'll notice is this big, chunky uh, Corian worktop. So Corian's brilliant because you can cut it and then rejoin it, sand it, and so you don't see any join lines. It works really well here. It's calm, it's cool, it's clean, uh, and that thickness um, really, it just, it's a chunky look and feel that adds to the overall um, ambiance of the kitchen. So coming round, uh, this is what used to be the utility room. So the clients knock through this wall and we've got this lovely storage area and it's actually where the fridge and freezers are. So we have tool fridge, tool freezer on the other side and then right in front of me is this double uh, pantry or storage unit mostly for the clients' uh, crockery and plates and stuff. Uh, extra storage, it's brilliant. You'll notice as a theme throughout this kitchen, there's just so much incredible storage. So coming round now, this is the main working larder in the kitchen. So we've got these lovely double thick shelves. We've got the glass fronted drawer boxes. So you can see what's in the drawers before you have to open them. Uh, nice thick Korean worktop in here as well. And it's just perfectly organized. This is quite a typical layout for our breakfast larder. So you've got toaster, kettle. This is really like a breakfast area, breakfast prep area uh, and works really, really well. The next thing I wanna show you guys is this sink. So one of the benefits of Corian is that you can actually form the sink out of Corian. So you'll notice that there's no full undermount sink, there's no stainless steel sides, it's all formed out of Corian and it just has that stainless steel base. The next thing you'll notice are these matte black taps that look incredible, go so perfectly with the black appliances and black trims everywhere. And these are zip taps. So you've got your normal mixer tap, so this is your hot and cold, and then you've got the arc Celsius. So this is chilled, one tap for boiling, and one tap for sparkling as well. So that's got everything here. Just show you guys, got a safety feature here for the boiling. Straight out the tap. So next thing you'll notice, sink, dishwasher, and, and built-in bin. Again, normal configuration for us. Uh, one thing I do wanna show you actually is this handle. So we wanted it to be clean, minimalistic. Rather than having a bulky handle, we've gone for this handle trim matte black and it's actually grooved into the side of the door so you can see here on the other side you can see it's all the way up okay and this matches the black capping on top of the units as well uh, coming through the cooking on the main working side of the island we have uh, two single ovens uh, with warming drawers underneath and then a central steam oven steam microwave sorry uh, with a deeper warming drawer underneath okay so this is a lot of appliances heavily used kitchen our lovely client is a great chef uh, so this is definitely, you know, kit that gets used regularly. Uh, and then we've got the hob. So it's uh, a Miele free induction hob. You can put the pans wherever you want, uh, not necessarily zoned. Uh, and you have lots of drawers underneath the hob for cutlery and utensils. But talking of drawers, you know, it doesn't stop here. Usually it's just really under the hob. But here we have drawer storage under the microwaves and steam ovens. So again, we've got drawers internal drawers you know there's so much that we haven't even managed to fill them yet um, it's really really lovely to have a kitchen with so much storage um, and then the last part i want to show you is even more storage and these are another pantry setup fairly usual for us so you have your tandem larder which basically means that there's spice racks on the back of the door oils spices um, tinned goods as well so the whole rack sort of pulls out as the door comes open and then you wanted to use the space above because this fitting fit finishes at this height. So to use the space above, we've gone for a bespoke uh, wine racking unit, um, obviously for things like reds that don't need refrigeration. Uh, and on the other side, we've got another single larder. Again, you see these glass fronted drawers, lots of space and then shelved above. Overall guys, 
this has to be one of my favorite kitchens. I think it's absolutely incredible. Uh, look forward to the next project. Again, hit the subscribe button, like a notification bell, and look forward to seeing the next one.